Now let's look at uh, the project structure of Ionic for projects. Uh, ooh, sorry. Um, all right. So for us to um, see how the Ionic 4 project structure has changed or the differences between that and Ionic 3, we are going to create two applications, an, an Ionic 3 project and an Ionic 4 project. So um, let's first create Ionic for project Ionic stat and uh, Ionic 4 going to be Angular, the recommended one, the version 4 upwards. Let's choose the blank template. Alright. And let's uh, create another one. Um, mm, all right, let me open another. Let me add it here. Okay, so let's create Ionic. That's going to be uh, Ionic 3, Ionic Angular, and it's going to be a blank project. Alright. Whoa, I think I have an internet problem here. Ionic 4. Yep. Okay, blank. Um, no, we're not going to add the uh, code over. Let's see. No, we are not going to add code over. All right. So let's wait for it to finish installing, and then we will start looking at the uh, project structure on Fionic Four. All right, so I have both uh, projects open, Ionic 3 and Ionic 4. So let's take a look at the differences. Well, Ionic 3 does not have the end-to-end -end testing uh, directory, uh, which Ionic 4 has, and it's using Protractor to, to do the testing for the end-to-end. So Ionic 4 comes with it, Ionic 3 does not have it. Well, node modules, that one is by default. The source or here, uh, git ignore. Now Ionic 3 has Ionic config JSON file, Ionic 4 also has it. Ionic 4 has an angular.json uh, file here but Ionic 3 does not have the, the reason is Ionic 4 uh, integrates Angular uh, into it directly yeah so actually to be able to continue using Ionic with Angular you should know how to use Angular version 5 version 6 the current version is version 6 so know how to use it uh, well because the command line 2 has uh, has uh, been integrated. The Ionic command line tool has been integrated with the uh, Angular uh, command line. Tool. So you, you, you should, you should, or something like that. You should know Angular how to use the command line tool very well to be able to uh, uh, use uh, uh, Angular uh, in Ionic 4. There, so it comes with it. The Angular.json uh, file comes with it. All right, the Ionic starter JSON file also is here. Um, all right, uh, packet JSON is also there. Uh, the TS linked and then TS config they are all still there. All right, let's go into the source of both uh, projects. Now, Ionic. Uh, Ionic 3 has app, assets, pages, theme, and then the index and the uh, service worker files here. But, well, Ionic 4 is different. 
it has up and the interesting thing is the pages have been moved into the app directory so pages in ionic 3 push into the app directory in ionic 4 that's why we don't see it there but in the source uh, directory in the version 4 there is a new directory called the environment where you can do your configurations uh, for um, the the environment so we have the production and we have the uh, 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 development so the development one has production falls the uh, production one has uh, production set to true we, we will take a look at those things later still theme is here yeah theme is still here with uh, all that but kind of slightly different we, we would go into details later on um, now we have a global dot CSS uh, file here inside the uh, ionic 4 but that wasn't part of ionic 3 and in the uh, in the comments here we are told that we should put star rules here that you want to apply globally so this if you want some styles that to be applied globally uh, should they should be here uh, all right additionally uh, let's see uh, this file can be also used as an entry point to import other SAS files to be included in the output CSS. So let's say you want to include another SAS file from somewhere, somewhere to 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 maybe you 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 create your uh, global file in another SAS file. You can include them here. Um, shared SAS variables, which can be used to adjust Ionic default uh, SAS variables. Uh, belong in variables so variables go into variables here as uh, we normally did or we did in uh, ionic 3 so well uh, to, 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 to get more detailed information uh, take a look at it read it and uh, later on to our uh, go over some of these details with you currently we are just looking at the differences in the structure of uh, Ionic 4 and Ionic 3 projects. Now, uh, we, well, we still have the index file. We have the uh, uh, no, we don't have manifest and we don't have service worker in here. Rather, we have uh, comma. Uh, if you don't know what karma is, uh, you can check check it out. Uh, let's see whether we can uh, read something about karma uh, in the uh, well, while it opens. Let's take a look at our uh, all right directory structure. We have a main.ts. So, so as I already told you, it's a, it's a Angular project. So, if you know Angular, you know that main.ts by default comes. Uh, we have the polyfill ts file. We have the tests, which uh, uh, does the testing stuff. Uh, good to details later. And we have the app JSON ts config we have the spec ts config json so does it uh no no let's take a look at the uh the app um, yeah so ionic ionic 3 had ionic uh, directory i icon sorry directory and then images directory inside the assets uh 
folder but in Ionic 4 it has only Ionic uh, directory which has a, a fav icon with Ionic 4 as I said pages ha 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 have been moved into the app directory so we have our pages here we have our component here uh, we have uh, the routing module we have the uh, the uh, component TS we have the app that's app component we have the app um, module and the HTML we have the spec also uh, here so when we go into pages we have our home page uh, module HTML CSS spec and then the page TS as well but in the uh, Ionic the old one uh, is it old well <laughs> the uh, version 3 really have all those things so I, I, from from this we can see that uh, Ionic is trying to make it easier to just integrate any framework into Ionic easily but by default Ionic will support Angular alright um, for now that to be it if you have any questions regarding the project structure and all that you can ask in the comment section below but I will be going into details later on uh, uh, so you will get to understand certain things more and more uh, I will also be doing some uh, uh, videos on Angular too so uh, check it out later uh, in uh, in my channel